Hey folks, are you ready to talk about the 35th anniversary of the Super Mario series and the Mario collection and a whole bunch of rumors surrounding it coming from a super, super reliable source? I know I am. But before we do that, I want to remind you, we are giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered this month. To enter, all you need to do is comment down below, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon and set it to all notifications so you get notified of every video and live stream we put up. Now, in addition to that, if we hit 50,000 subscribers before November, I will be giving away either a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch to one lucky winner. Uh, so just another reason to subscribe. You can't enter that giveaway yet, but if we do happen to hit 50K, uh, yeah, be ready for the biggest giveaway we've ever done on this channel. Now, let's get into this. You see... There's been rumors dating back, I believe, all the way to March about a 35th anniversary collection uh, for the Mario Brothers series. Now, part of this rumor involved a new Paper Mario game, which we obviously have in Paper Mario the Origami King, which came out last month on July 17th. And that led a lot of credence to these rumors, but then we heard nothing else since. And uh, as the months go by, we keep wondering... What the heck is going on? Are we even getting any of this? Well, finally, a major Nintendo leaker, a major leaker in general, uh, has spoken up. And this is someone who is just as reliable as King Zell, maybe more so because he has an even longer history dating all the way back to the NeoGAF days, back when that was the go-to place. Now he's over at Reset Era. Uh, I understand if you don't like these forums, but they happen to have a couple of really reliable leakers. Uh, this person's name is, or username anyways, is Nate Drake, which is obviously PlayStation related, but he tends to know a lot about Nintendo and is really up there with the Emily Rogers of the world in terms of nailing a lot of stuff. He's nailed correct uh, direct dates. He's nailed correct announcements, um, or correct release months for certain games before they were announced he doesn't speak up very often just like emily rogers doesn't but when he does it's important to listen and maybe he's speaking up because people are worrying about what nintendo's doing the rest of this year well fear not uh we now have some direct words from him and uh needless to say it's looking very very interesting for the rest of this year uh, so Nate Drake first came out uh, responding to uh, Lee Lush 0612 on uh, Reset Era, you know, who said, if we go by Nate's words, the Mario Collection should release in less than two and a half months from July 20th. So it should be announced in the first half of August at the latest. Uh, he actually goes on to say September was actually the plan for a Mario release. Such a game doesn't actually need a direct. It feels more like a Twitter announcement a la Paper Mario. So basically saying we're getting some sort of Mario something, you know, probably the collection because that was the response. It was about a Mario collection. Uh, it sounds like a Mario collection releasing in September was the original plan and likely might still be the plan. And he doesn't feel like it's going to be announced through a direct. Uh, so there you go. That's exciting. But wait, there's more because, well, of course there's more. Uh, he went on to respond to some other people. Uh, Plinko said, am I correct thinking the 3D collection is much more of a holiday type game than 3D World? Because remember, there was the 35th anniversary collection pack, the, like Super Mario All-Stars collection pack, whatever you want to call it, that had like basically Sunshine, Galaxy Games, um, Super Mario 64, all of them remastered. Uh, and then there was also the 3D collection, or like the, the, the uh, Super Mario 3D World, right? Deluxe that, that's supposed to come out. Uh, and he says the 3D collection should be the first release of the two. So that means he's talking about the 3D collection releasing next month in September. So hold on to your butt cheeks because it gets even crazier from here. He does mention he's unsure, of course, of the exact day in September it would release. Um, Dark Cloud uh, went on to say the 3D world doesn't make sense for this year anymore. Smart Nintendo should release it in January or February. And then Nate Drake goes on to say that actually very may well happen, which suggests that as far as he's aware, there is no actual release date for the 3D World Deluxe game, and it very well could be something that's pushed into early 2021 to kind of get momentum kick-started, which would not be unusual for Nintendo, even though that misses the 35th anniversary, because if you remember, they used you know, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe to kind of kick-start last year, uh, so it's not uncommon for them to push 
like a, a, a Wii U port or whatever uh, to kick off a year. So it actually would make a lot of sense. And Nate Drake says, you know, that, that hey, that very well could be the plan uh, because he doesn't actually know when that second one is coming. He just knows when the 3D collection pack is coming. Uh, beyond all of this, that might not be the only Mario goodness we're getting this year because obviously if the plan is to release the game in September, that can't be the major holiday game. So what the hell is Nintendo doing this holiday? And I've been leaning hard on Breath of the Wild 2, just a guess. I don't really have any evidence to support it. Uh, but Nate Drake actually commented on that. Uh, so in responding to C. to Sabasa, who said, this is the first year in years that we are approaching August and still not sure what Nintendo is releasing this fall. I really hope that it has more than Mario Collection and a 3D World port. If that's only what's coming, then this has been a shitty year for Switch. Nate Drake responds, they will be leaning on Mario pretty hard this holiday. Now, if you read into those words, it could just mean there's nothing else coming and you're just going to get the 3D World port and the Mario Collection. But since he previously said that it's possible the 3D World port isn't until next year, then what the hell are they going to be leaning on this holiday? Because you can't, they have to have something new release. This almost is a hint, a, a slight hint that there's something else Mario related coming out this holiday, whether it's a new Mario Kart 9 that would be pretty big. Uh, maybe we're looking at Mario Odyssey 2. After all, Mario Odyssey got zero DLC. See, Breath of the Wild actually got some DLC. Mario Odyssey did not get any DLC. They literally could have been working on the next Mario Odyssey practically from the moment the first one released. So we have to sit here and wonder, what is he referencing here? That they're going to be leaning on Mario really hard this holiday. So 35th anniversary collection packs releasing in September. Well, okay, that's not a holiday game. Yeah, they'll they'll maybe they'll bundle it in for a holiday or something. But you know, and they'll probably do a Mario bundle as well, like they've done Mario Kart, you know, eight bundles in the past. But what are they going to actually do this holiday that involves Mario? I don't know. And I think that's the crazy part. As we enter into the rest of this year, it definitely appears, at least according to Nate Trick, that Mario, Mario, and more Mario is the plan. Uh, and we got Paper Mario. Get, get this all-star collection 3D pack coming really, really soon. All these remastered stuff should be absolutely fantastic. But then, what do we get after? I don't know. And this is where the speculation begins. Because Nate Drake just kind of opened the door on pretty much any possibility for this holiday. Because it's hard to believe that they would just lean on 3D World and a collection pack, right? If they're leaning hard on Mario, what are they leaning on? Are, are, we, are we getting a new Mario sports game, perhaps? Are we getting a new, you know, a new Mario Supercharged or something? Are we, uh, what, 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 I don't know. Like, what are we, a new Mario Tennis? Like, you know, to go down that Mario sports stack of games? Uh, what, what are we getting? I don't know, but something Mario. And to me, it feels like, you know, with next-gen platforms coming, it needs to be a bigger Mario game. That's why I was leaning more towards Odyssey 2 or Mario Kart 9. But maybe, you know, that was Nintendo just doesn't care what the competition's doing. So it could just be any sort of Mario game they could toss out there. You know, we're getting a new Mario and Luigi game. You know, and I, I don't know, a new Super Mario RPG. Just surprise us out of the blue and release a new one of those. Like, that would be totally unexpected. So... There's just so many possibilities, and I guess I want to throw it out to you guys. On what, what do you guys really think about all this? Because obviously, I'm really excited for the 35th anniversary collection, especially like getting the Galaxy games in, in HD, getting all these games in HD, but likely like remastered uh, Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. Like That's going to be really, really exciting to see uh, what they decided to do with that and, and how far it was pushed in, in the remastering of those games. Because we've seen some crazy stuff with the Unreal Engine 4 remakes um, and uh, the fans have put together that Nintendo has shut down. Uh, but still, we've seen some really interesting stuff from that. So now we have to wonder what, what's happening now the rest of the year. Is, is, is the 3D World Deluxe pushed? I think it's pretty obvious 3D World's coming. There's obviously been an, another smaller rumor attached that they're going to release 3D Land and, and 3D World together as a second collection pack on its own. That could be a thing as well. But again, does that really sound like something that carries a holiday? Uh, even bringing 3D Land into HD, I, I just don't think so. I don't feel that that's 
that's the punch you use for the holiday. So if they're going to rely on Mario super heavy, obviously they're going to assume that the collection pack is going to sell well during the holidays, but they have to have a, a, a banger game coming out. And I've said all along, there has to be a big game. And Nintendo's biggest IP is technically Mario. Um, so a new Mario game would be baller for this holiday. And that could be something that they might save for an actual Nintendo Direct. Um, but yeah, he, he basically 35th anniversary collection seems to be dropping in a tweet, he feels. Uh, but whatever's coming this holiday, which he's not really given us much info on, uh, that's what really, really has me excited. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Remember to like the video, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that bell icon to enter our giveaway for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remaster. which by the way, you can get the Switch or the PlayStation 4 version, whichever version suits your fancy. Um, and hey, help us on our road to 50K so we can do an even bigger giveaway later this year. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. Enjoy this morning video, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.